And finally, just in case you missed last night's lunar eclipse because of the cloudy skies over the UK, here is what it looked like. This was the view in Moscow, with the moon's vivid red colour caused by particles in the Earth's atmosphere. It was the longest lunar eclipse in more than a decade and occurred when the moon moved behind the Earth, which cast its shadow over the lunar surface. Very beautiful. Well, let's have a look at the weather now with Laura Tobin. And uh, I don't know about cloud, it's rain that we've got at the moment, isn't it? And yep. lots of it. It's been a miserable start to the day for many of us. We've had heavy rain in the southeast. It affected Ascot this morning. And it doesn't look as though things are set to improve much through the afternoon either. Sunshine and showers is the name of the game today. This is the radar image. Draw your attention to this mass of green and yellow in the southeast. That brought the heavy showers that are slowly clearing. But now we're seeing showers through southern England, southern Wales, and through northeastern England. I think through the rest of the day, showers and Ascot, a wet day to come tomorrow. And it stays pretty cool and showery through the weekend. Coverage, of course, of Royal Ascot across the BBC. Now, through the coming hours, I think the really heavy rain will clear away from the home counties in East Anglia. But we continue to see a rash of showers developing across many western areas of the UK. They'll become pretty focused through central areas of Wales through the afternoon, aligned with the breeze and tracking into the Midlands. For southernmost counties of England, I think we need to watch out for a line of potentially heavy showers developing right along this southern coast. Hail and thunder still a possibility from these, and they will never be that far away from Ascot. Through the home counties, in the Midlands. It's a story of sunshine and showers, pretty hit and miss as they will be through Lincolnshire up towards Yorkshire and the borders as well. Northwest England faring best with any sunshine today as we will see some sunshine for southwest Scotland. But the northern areas of Scotland again, further showers through the afternoon, cool and breezy here. Some of those showers on the heavy side. And for Northern Ireland, it continues to be hit and miss. Sunshine and showers, the name of the game here. Through this evening, the showers track eastwards on the breeze, but they'll clear away overnight. A dry night initially until we see more cloud and more rain arriving in the southwest. 8 to 11 degrees, the best of the sunshine initially will be in the east. Make the most of that. Because we've got really unsettled weather around at the moment, and what that means is we've got successions of weather fronts sweeping in from the Atlantic, and this is heading our way for tomorrow. So... If it's sunny initially, as I said, make the most of that because we'll see the cloud invading, the winds will freshen, dragging cloud right across the UK. A miserable day on the cars tomorrow without the sunshine. 16, 17 degrees will feel pretty disappointing and the rain will be heavy at times as well. Starting the weekend, the rain still with us, slowly clearing away from the northeast of the UK and then back to what we're very familiar with, sunshine and yet more showers. So I think the weather as we head through the next few days is definitely going to be pretty hit and miss. For Ascot, it looks as though it will be pretty wet tomorrow with showers right the way through the weekends and not great news for all of the other sporting action this weekend as oh, well. Oh dear, Laura, thank you very much. Now at half past one, a reminder of our top story. There's been a sharp fall in high street sales. They fell by 1.4%, far worse than analysts had expected. Still to come on the BBC News Channel in the next half hour. More on the landmark sentencing of a juror for contempt of court after she sent Facebook messages to a defendant. We'll be looking at what it all means for the legal system. But that's all from the news at one this lunchtime. So it's goodbye from me. And on BBC One, we now join the BBC's news teams where you are. Bye-bye.